Hello, I'm Carrie Ann Ings and this is Sat TV Technology Update. Next month, the 2010 Space Elevator Conference will take place in Redmond, Washington, at the Microsoft Conference Center. The three day event will be focusing on all aspects of one of the most interesting and technically challenging concepts for carrying cargo into orbit. The idea of a space elevator, where a 100,000 km long cable is strung between an anchor on Earth and a counterweight in space, can be thought of as a vertical railroad. Elevator cars, powered by electricity, travel up and down the tether and carry cargo to and from space. Current technology is not capable of manufacturing practical engineering materials that are sufficiently strong and light to build an Earth based space elevator. However, nanotechnology could provide the very high strength, low weight fibres that would be needed to build the tether since the measured strength of microscopic carbon nanotubes appears great enough to make this theoretically possible. In 2000, David Smitherman of NASA's Marshall Advanced Projects Office realised that the high strength of these materials might make the concept of an orbital skyhook feasible and put together a workshop at the Marshall Space Flight Centre, inviting many scientists and engineers to discuss concepts and compile plans for an elevator to turn the concept into a reality. In 2002, another American scientist, Bradley C. Edwards, suggested creating a 100,000 km long paper-thin ribbon using a carbon nanotube composite material. He chose a ribbon-type structure rather than a cable because that structure might stand a greater chance of surviving impacts by meteoroids. Supported by the NASA Institute for Advanced Concepts, the work of Edwards was expanded to cover the deployment scenario, climber design, orbital debris avoidance, as well as avoiding lightning and hurricanes by locating the anchor in the western equatorial Pacific. As always, the major problem was the technological limit of the tether material. To speed space elevator de development, proponents are running competitions for relevant technologies. The Spacewood Foundation sponsors an ongoing competition for anyone who can make a tether that is at least 50% stronger than the house material. Winning teams will win two million US dollars, provided by the NASA Centennial Challenges program, but no one has yet been able to meet the challenge. The Spacewood Foundation also sponsors an ongoing power beaming climber competition. Since its inception in 2005, the requirements to win a prize have been made more difficult, while the prize purse, again provided by NASA, has been increased. It now stands at $2 million. In 2009, the Laser Motive team won $900,000 for climbing a 1km steel cable at an average speed of 3.9 metres per second. There is still $1.1 million left in the prize pool and this will be awarded to the teams that can climb this steel cable at an average speed of at least 5 metres per second. Similar challenges occur at the Robo Games and at the Japanese Space Elevator Technical and Engineering Competition. Thank you for watching.